big one. What's going on guys? Bassin up Moffat. We are here at the Susquehanna River. Got my good buddy Paul here. We're gonna see if we can catch some uh, smallmouth today. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can get. Get this one in it slowly. Fish on, it's a big one too. Holy, that's a big one. Great when you get home. <laughs> That is for sure a five. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that tank. Straighten his tail a little bit. Beautiful. He doesn't have any cool colors in him or anything like that. No, but man, he's a gorgeous fish. Solid, solid fish. Heck yeah. Um, off the old donkey rig. The chandelier, that's what I call it. <laughs> hey, you heard everybody call it that. Yeah. He's gotta be 19. Dude, he's 20. Just, just about. Like, like yeah, just a centimeter. <laughs> Where's my uh is it doing that? Uh it's definitely not 0 0.58 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I think my, he's a little just, bigger than just that. My <laughs> oh, I think KG, that's why. Not working right. I got mine. He is 418. 418, yeah. 418, guys. Solid, solid fish. I thought he'd be a little closer to five than that. I just. It's on the gut. The guts, though. Yeah. They'll be bulging. Out. He's not bulging. Here we go, guys. I wish I had that stick. What was that one you about? Goes. Goes. So we start out fishing some little eddies behind these bridges and the front sides of the bridges. Pulling the A-rig around them, reeling it real slow, giving it little pumps here and there. Trying to target every little nook and cranny that can break the current. A lot of times all these smallmouth will be sitting in those little current breaks and any little section that breaks the current for just a little bit so that they can That's have that. great ambush points. Again. Okay, but not much smaller. Yeah, not much smaller. Much smaller. Yeah, not much smaller. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's still probably almost four. Not to mention caught so many others. They were just the ones we live weld. That when that was first a thing, the A rig was absolutely insane out there. Like you couldn't there's one. It's a good one. Oh yeah. You gonna flip them? Atta boy. Nice. Woo, there we go. That's a good tree. Chandelier out of your face. 
Let me get him with the other one too. There we go, guys. Give me a up close, like you're swimming by the camera. Like come by uh, out of view, into view. You know what I mean? There you go. Nice. Get him back in there. There she goes. So as you can already see, we've been throwing the A-Rig pretty much the whole time. What was key with a lot of my bite was my little reel pumps. And that's when you see me give that reel a quick little twitch. That just makes the fish react to the Alabama rig a lot more. When little schools of bait are moving through the water, they'll flutter around and pump themselves like that and skirt off, that especially one. if they see a bigger predatory fish sometimes. And a lot of times that will make the batch react to it. The, the good thing the back camera was on. <laughs> Mine's on too. No, mine wasn't. I got you in the back camera and a little bit on this one. He swiped it. Nice. Where, where was it again, Ray? You're in the front again, huh? The freaking front. Get up, get up. How many inches is that? 17? 18? 17 and a quarter. Get that measurement with this one. Okay. Let this gorgeous one go, guys. There she goes. You guys catch the same fish over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my two, but your two, I don't know. <laughs> your two would be a lot bigger. <laughs> I mean, the one inch, yeah. I don't know, the other one was close to that. He was probably, yeah, 18, 18 and a half maybe is maybe what I'd guess. Ah, I got a f***ing jerkbait in my foot. Gordon. Gordon. Oh, he's got a spot. Nice. I like it. Oh, look at his tail. He's skinny, though. You got it? Did you get it? Oh, you got it in your finger now? There you go. <laughs> Just as I say, a five fish limit. You wanted that one. You downed it. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at, he's got on the pectoral. Oh, I love the beauty marks on him. When the, when the water gets cold, that's when you start seeing them come out. Look at that gorgeous one, guys. That's awesome. Look at the pectoral it's turning a little bit, so he's like looking right at us. There you go, yep. You show him the coddle tail. Look at that. That's sick. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Hold on. Back go go. There she goes. Heck yeah. Yeah, you were literally just saying, come on, let's get five fish in. Bam. <laughs> That's a badass. That kind of happened Right in here. It was right before we drifted around, I threw up along there. That one. That, dude, what is that? that? Dude, what is that? That's what... Big one. Nice. Oh, I got all that. Quit lift that big. Dude, that's a big one. <laughs> got all that. Don't that bitch. That's a big one. <laughs> Atta boy. Oh man, he just knocked my freaking. Oh, he broke it. He broke it. Oh shoot. Oh crap. Oh, 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 oh. 
That's a nice one. Check that fatty out, guys. Woo! <laughs> you were pretty little. He was right out off of the front of that That's, little bit of stuff that comes yeah, he in. He was on the front, though? Well, not the... So you know where that, that like piles up right there? Yeah. He was out like five foot from that. I was bringing it along this way. That's the measure on that. How, uh, That's 1920. How long she is. He is 19. 19 and a quarter, actually. That's four. Yeah, that's probably definitely that's, four. That's definitely four. All right, four guys. Four. Yeah, that's probably definitely a four. That's definitely four. Yeah, that gorgeous one, guys. Let's let her go. What is that? Is that a holy <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Another nice one. My God. Dude, that that one looks. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What am I doing wrong here? I want I want to go back and get my bait. <laughs> Measure him. He's still not. That one's not as fat as he should be. I mean that that thing would be. We might have to weigh him. Nah, he's a little small. He's eight Is he really, man? I thought that one was bigger. That didn't even look like a freaking smallmouth coming in. It didn't feel like it at first. I thought that was a freaking, I don't know what I thought it was. I thought it might have been a freaking walleye. That's, that's kind of what he felt like when he first hit, because it, like, you know how small these usually rip like a mofo, right? right <laughs> nice solid one again, guys. There we go. There she goes. Look at how much it drops there. There's like the I can't believe that we didn't get a bite there. There he is. Good boy, dude. Another hog. Oh my god. <laughs> this is nuts, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. Another nice big one. Oh my god. <laughs> that one's got a belly on it. A little bit better. What is it? 19. 19. Yeah, Same. Touches 19. <laughs> Another uh oh. Another solid. <laughs> Got a nice one out, guys. Woo -hoo. Woo, we are laying into them today, boys and girls. This is number seven for me, and number ten altogether. So we are just laying into them. Let's let this good girl go. Well, I would say really good, but oh, there's a little guy. No. 
Hey. That is a fat when, fish. When you don't look at it, he's about busting out of himself. <laughs> look at that fat little chunk. <laughs> he's been eating good. See, on the Alabama rig, we haven't caught anything smaller than 16 inches, and that was only one fish. Everything's been 17 and above, all up to 20, so it's kind of unreal. <laughs> there is, I mark, there is a fish in here that's all 22 inches. A, a couple of them, I'm not even kidding. I know everybody thinks I'm bullshit. I'm really not. You can ask Hunter. I don't talk. No, he's definitely in here. Well, guys, we finally got off the water now. Uh, pretty good day. A little bit slow to start, and then we started tearing into some midday, and then it kind of slowed up again towards the end. But a rig did the job on pretty much all of them today, except for a couple that Paul caught on the little Ned bait. Uh, rod that I was using was my 7.3 medium heavy fast action Enigma Phenom Titanium Series with a 6.4 to 1 Daiwa Fuego reel. And then Bama rig I was throwing was a Yumbrella with a few Zoom uh, swimming super flukes and then a white saucy swimmer in the middle. That white one just gives them something nice and easy to key into. And that's pretty much how we got them today. Everything was on the Bama rig. Didn't catch any super small fish except for a couple little dinks towards the end in the creek in the here. Creek, yeah. And uh, the smallest one we caught was 16. All the rest of them were between 17 and 20 inches though. Like every one of them. It was, it was awesome. Every fish we hooked up, we were like, oh, it's a big one. You didn't have to, you just knew it was, so. <laughs> yeah. Is either we thought we were stuck or it was a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, definitely a great day, guys. Thank Paul for taking me out. Um, also going to show you something quick. We got a new video coming up. Uh, it'll be in the future. Don't know exactly when yet. But got another video since you guys kind of like my boat videos and like all that. Paul has Aqua Traction, which is a decking for your boat. You can do awesome little... Uh, cutouts like this he can do any kind of design you want all kinds of different colors as you can see there's a design of the fish there um, but I will link that all in the description down below and you can hit him up if you have any questions or want to get in contact about it it's really cool stuff really durable and lasts good on your boat the one big thing too is uh, a lot of people have pre-cut uh, foam for various boats. It doesn't matter if your boat is something you made or whatnot. I have a I have a templator that I'll actually come to you for a small fee. You know, I got to get some gas money kind of thing. Um, I'll come and measure anything you want. It can be it can be kayaks. It could be. I'm do, I'm actually gonna do a video with Hunter um, when I get my truck done. I'm doing certain things. No one really. It's not really. Maybe it can be ideal for a truck, but at least you get to see how custom it can be because I'm measuring these little nicks and crannies and everything and I'm putting this foam on it and it could be very customizable however you want to do it so thanks again Hunter for uh, shouting out to me on that not a problem so either way make sure you hit him up if you want to check that stuff out it's really cool and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button stay tuned for the next one get entered into my giveaway for a thousand subscribers we're gonna be giving away that fishing reel then so get entered into that and we'll see ya